Hi there adventure seekers and welcome to my messy driver cockpit area here of our Tiffin open road. And it's like this for a reason, I'm doing a lot of testing, doing a lot of changing things around. But I wanted to talk to you real quick about this radio here. For those who've been with us for a while, you may remember a video I put out about a year or so ago. I replaced the Kenwood N-Dash radio with this Android based radio. Now it's not an Android auto radio. It is actually an Android tablet for all intents and purposes in a radio form factor. And it was under $200. And it's worked great. It's been working great. Um, the only issue I really have with it is it's underpowered. And that's the problem with most all of these Android based Chinese radios. They have very small RAM and CPU sizes. So it struggles a little bit. And I finally got fed up with it because I use Copilot as my GPS. And I tried to use it on this and it was always a pain in the butt because it was so slow. So I decided to try something different. And what is that you may ask? Well, kind of the same thing I've been doing. Check it out. So I started doing a lot of research. I'm still not gonna buy a regular radio simply because to get one with the features that I want is gonna be well over $1,000. I'm not doing that. That's why I got rid of the Kenwood because I didn't want to pay the hundreds of dollars to update the maps from Garmin every year, six months, whatever. So I came up with a, I think a better solution. Now this will work even if you still have the factory radio, no matter what it is in your RV. So you can basically skip to this step. Um, and if I'd have done this originally, it would have saved me some time and money, but I didn't think about it at the time. So that's why we're doing this here. And I don't know why I didn't think about it because what did I just say this was down here? This was basically an Android tablet. So why don't I just use an Android tablet instead? Now there's a couple of ways to do this and I'm gonna show you the way I'm going with for now. And I'm using an Android tablet. This is a small, relatively cheap, it's a Samsung, I can't remember what it is. It doesn't really matter, it could be an iPad. It could be a, an Android tablet, whatever. Find something used on eBay because it doesn't need to be the latest and greatest. And I've plugged this into the audio in jack of this radio. So I'm using this radio basically to connect to all my speakers up here and um, act as an amplifier. And it's really just that simple. I put it on a mount here and I plugged in the headphone jack. I plugged it into the headphone jack back of the radio here and I just hit the aux button there bring this to life don't want to get a copyright strike so my Sirius XM app on here I've got Spotify I've got Copilot GPS I can honestly put any Pandora Apple Music Amazon Music whatever this is connected to the Wi-Fi in my RV so it's always got the connectivity if I need to in a pinch I can you know use my phone hotspot or for whatever reason the, the in RV isn't working and I can also you know download music as well and just play it off of here the copilot maps are downloaded anyway so you're not uh, having to worry about having connectivity to use copilot that's it it's just that simple now there's a lot of different ways you can do this if you don't want to do it like I'm doing it here one way you can do that is you can actually take um, some magnets or fabricate a bracket however you want to and place either over this radio or in instead of this radio. So again, this will work anywhere. This will work in a car. This will work here, anywhere you got room to put the tablet. And if you just put the tablet here on the dash like I have, at least temporarily, but I think I'm gonna leave it here because I like it because at this height, it's easier for me to see and work with. And another nice feature too about this is I went ahead and bought a little remote control. This guy right here, and there's links to all these products in the description below. This is a Bluetooth remote control. So this will enable the co-pilot over here to adjust the volume, adjust tracks, whatever they want to do with this. This was like $9. So if I wanted to bypass the radio completely, and I'll put a list of the parts to do that in the description as well if you want to just completely get rid of this radio. You really don't need much. You need a amplifier because the output from the tablet is just not going to be enough to drive any speakers up here. So you'll need to buy an amplifier, and then you'll just need to connect this to the amplifier using a headphone jack to preferably 
RCA jacks. Um, you can get those adapters, again, description below. And the nice thing too about this setup is it's not permanent. Even if I use magnets to put it on here, it wouldn't be a permanent setup. So I can still use this tablet for anything I want, you know, when we're not driving down the road. So it's not like I'm buying a dedicated tablet just for this. Even though if you have one laying around that you're not using, this is the perfect thing for it right here because it's easy. I, all I gotta do is disconnect it from my bracket unplug it and I've got a tablet so that's it that is all I needed to do and for basically a few dollars I've replaced my radio now if I had to buy a tablet then whatever the cost of the tablet is maybe you can use this to justify buying a new tablet I don't know you have to talk to your spouse about that so that's it if you've got any other hacks and ideas on things to do to make your drive a little bit easier and save money at the same time please leave us a note in the the comments below. Um, if you tried this or a similar setup, let us know that as well. If you have any questions about this setup, leave us a note. And if you'd like to help us help Christian-based veterans charities, uh, please take a look at the description below as well. The many different ways you can help us. And as always, adventure seekers, may your next journey be an epic adventure. Bye.